Um, yeah, I was excited that it wasn't your typical love story. Um, I thought it was really interesting and unique, um, but it still felt that there was this great emotional center that you could grab onto. It, it wasn't too esoteric. It had these great big ideas and themes to explore, but it still felt like um, it was totally accessible. And it's rare to get um, film like that and to have somebody, a director like Spike, who you feel certain can pull off these big ideas and still manage to make it feel grounded and accessible. Yeah, no, I was, I loved the relationships that Spike developed in the movie and, and how um, how each of them were so specific and, and that it was a story that was so much bigger than a love story. It was a, just a story about the human experience. I always felt like when he was, you guys were having a conversation, I always felt like I should, like I shouldn't well, be around. Well, we didn't want you around <laughs> us at all. So that's actually well, why. Good. I'm glad that my social senses were, were tuned in correctly. <laughs> I love wardrobe and I love props and I love the environment that I am, I'm in and being able to react off of those things and to just be in a recording booth and try to generate that emotion um, is very difficult. Um, so I always thought she had the, the, the harder job. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you want the most beautiful person on the screen, so.